I think I'm undead. Help? Written by Sort of Haunted on r slash no sleep. I've been eating a lot of raw meat lately. It started out as a sushi craving, but then I ended up gnawing on raw steaks while sitting on my couch watching Netflix. I mean, maybe I needed the protein. I guess it started when I woke up in the morgue, but maybe it's trauma of some sort. Of course, there's nothing more horrifying than waking up in a metal drawer, realizing where you are, and immediately launching into the panic attack of a lifetime. Thankfully, the morgue attendant opened the drawer with wide eyes, babbling about how sorry he was, or some shit. I'm thinking about suing the hospital, but hey, we only get one life, I think. The weirdest part was seeing my death certificate. There's my name, Tabris. Yeah, weird name I know, but what can I say? My mom liked angels. And it freaked me the hell out. Apparently, I had been found dead in an alley. Until, of course, I woke up in the morgue. The doctors had no way of explaining it, because they didn't want to admit they fucked up and declared a living person dead. They wanted to run a bunch of tests on me. Fuck that. I'm not their guinea pig. I hate needles anyway. Couldn't focus at work anymore, when the whole eating raw meat thing started to freak some people out. Also, being deathly pale doesn't help. Also, my blood pressure is incredibly low, so I'm crazy lethargic. I quit, deciding to do some freelance writing and consulting. The nightmares didn't help. I kept dreaming I was waking up in this insanely creepy operating room, complete with surgeon with a bloody gown. The dream always ends with him leaning over and putting a mask over my mouth. Police scanners aren't actually that difficult to set up. I did it mostly out of a boredom, figuring I might as well do something with my time. I like listening to them, hearing about all the various crimes going on in the area. One night, around 2 a.m., I pretty much stopped sleeping too. I heard something particularly interesting. Immediate response needed to shots fired on 13th Street. Dispatch crackled. I scooched closer to my scanner, interested. 13th Street wasn't far from here. We'll be right there, a cop responded. A few minutes later, he was requesting backup. We got a dead body. Need a bus. The officer's voice crackled over the radio. I sighed. I never liked hearing that. I hated the idea of anyone ending up in that hell morgue I woke up in. Officer down. Repeat. Officer down. Suspect fleeing on foot he said, shouting the radio. Suspect is a white male in his 50s, armed and dangerous. He just shot my fucking partner. I sat up suddenly. For the first time in months, I knew what I had to do. I pulled on a black hoodie. I left my apartment, locking the door. I went downstairs and out on the sidewalk, listening to the increasing sounds of sirens. The weird thing about me now, post-mortem, is I have an incredible sense of smell. Gunpowder has a very distinct smell, like firecrackers, and I could smell it the second I stepped onto the street. I turned to my left, the opposite direction of the sirens, and the scent got stronger. I sprinted down the street. Another advantage to my new condition. I'm incredibly fast, and don't get tired. Makes going to the gym a lot more fun. But this wasn't the gym. I was on the tail of a stone-cold killer. So I guess the gym, but more escape room style. But also, real life. Next thing I knew, I saw a shadowy figure duck into one of the many backyards of the houses around here. Deadly silent, I followed. I walked up behind him. He was trying to jimmy open the back door of the house when I grabbed him. Hey! He shouted, struggling against my grip. I slammed him to the side of the house. Well, 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 what are we here? I said, feeling an evil smile creep across my face. He was a gross looking dude, with weak old stubble and an unpleasant smell. It was nowhere near being strong enough to fight me off. What the hell, bitch? Let me go! He shouted at me, spitting in my face. Now see, I don't like murderers. Specifically men. They have this tendency to kill people who did nothing to them, and to call women bitches when they really fucking shouldn't. I crushed his windpipe, then his spine. He died instantly. Honestly, I always hated those articles about ethical cannibalism or some shit. I read one about a guy who made tacos out of his severed foot. I never wanted to eat human flesh, mostly because of Wendigo concerns. So believe me when I say I couldn't control myself. I ripped him apart, chopping as I went. I even ate his brain, cracking his skull open like an egg. 
Guess that makes me a zombie? I cleaned up best I could. I felt bad for eating this guy in the backyard of some perfectly nice family. I dragged what was left of him into the streets for the cop to find. I even called an anonymous tip. And I walked home to do some laundry. The next day, the paper ran a story about it. The cops were baffled as to how they were, could be chasing this guy one second, only to find him ripped to pieces down the street the next. Apparently, the man's name was Stan, and had murdered his wife after abusing her for two decades. Honestly, the only thing I felt bad about was not killing him sooner. Maybe I'd make a habit of this.